Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and today we're going to be utilizing my 3D printer to do some detailing. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. So 3D printing has really taken the model railroad world by storm over the past five years, I would say. And one of the big things that has come out of it is really the ability to just customize and do detailing exactly the way that you want it. Now, me and myself, I actually own two 3D printers. I own a Flash Forge Finder, which is a PLA filament printer, and then I own a longer orange 10, which is a resin 3D printer. Now, both of these each serve their own purpose, and for this video, we're going to be using the longer orange 10. These are very affordable 3D printers. I'm going to link them both in the description below, but let's go ahead and get started. The great thing about 3D printing detailing parts is that a lot of people have already created quite a few models you can print. For this project, I went looking around on Thingiverse. All of the models that I print will be linked in the description below. I then loaded all of the models into the Slicer. The Slicer is a program that converts model data into usable information for the printer. The reason that it's called a Slicer is that it slices the models into layers to print. I am bulk printing these parts since they will all fit on my print bed at once. Here is my resin 3D printer. It's a longer orange tin. I have linked it in the description below along with some of my favorite resin if you want to purchase it. I set the printer to print and wait. Once it is done, I clean the parts up and test them out on the scene. I snap a few photos so that I know how I want them later. Next, it's time to paint. I have used white glue on all of my parts to secure them to this parchment paper. This is so they are easy to paint. Small parts don't usually do well with airbrushes unless they are anchored, so I will be hand painting them. I then glue my details together and add any other little details to them that I want to. So here are all the finished detail parts for the factory. Now it's time to glue them in place. I'm also going to do a few parking spaces. I make lines using electrical tape that I have cut into strips that are around a millimeter wide. I have shown this process in a previous tutorial. I will link it here. I then coat the lines with Mod Podge Matte Medium to glue them in place. I also decided I wanted to do some road lines with the same technique while I was at it.
And here is all of the work that I have gotten done. There's still a lot more to go, but I'm happy with it so far. So that's how I utilize a resin 3D printer to do some detailing around one of my buildings. It's a really great way to do exactly what you want to do around a building in terms of detailing. Now there's a lot of other things you can print. You can also do, you can print automobiles, you can print people, you can print just about anything that you can design or imagine. And that's one of the real fun parts about a 3D printer in model railroading. You can even print things like buildings, and I've actually done that before, and I'll link that right up here as well as in the description below. But if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading!